Hey everyone, welcome back to another Run, Jump and Throw Yourself Into It activity session. Today is our second session on discus and what we're going to focus on is how a discus comes out of our hands by doing a lot of discus rolling. Come on, let's go. A lot of you have probably never seen a discus before, and here's one right here. This is one of our training discuses. And some of you are saying it looks like a plate. Well, yeah, that, that, that's correct, it looks like a plate. So if you remember last lesson, I said that we're going to make our own. In fact, actually, we are going to use plates, but what we're going to use is a couple of paper plates, or plastic barbecue plates are better, and some tape. Now, we're going to make one. Let's go inside, let's make one. So you put the two plates together, make sure the back of it is facing the outside. You get your sticky tape. This is where you might need mum or dad to help you out. I'm going to show you how we hold the discus properly. Now, can everyone show me your throwing hand? Now here on your throwing hand, you have five kids, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Louie and Steve. Now, your kids are really shy, but they're also very nosy. Now, if you don't know what nosy means, it just means sort of like being a sticky beak. And they want to have a look over the fence. So what they do is they stick their heads up over the fence and rest their heads on it like this. Just like that. And as you can see, their heads are on the fence. Now, poor old Steve is the shyest one of the lot, and Steve stays hidden. So now, as you can see, I just have the fingertips or the heads of my kids on the fence and poor old Steve or the thumb stays hidden. So the first activity we're going to do is what we call over the waterfall. That's where we let the discus roll off our fingers like it's going over the waterfall. And the last finger we want touching the discus is our pointer. We're going to roll it forward off our hands. Let me show you. How to do over the waterfall, we're now going to learn how to do the discus roll. It's a little bit like 10 pin bowling. Hold the discus the way we've been practicing. Opposite foot in front, going to bring the arm back. Here's a little tip for you make sure this edge is always pointing forward. Now remember that thumb, make sure that thumb is pointing to where you want it to roll. Here are some other bits of equipment that we're going to be using today. We just need a variety of things that we can use for targets. So for our activity challenge today, I'm gonna to place my target out within my area and our goal for today is try to roll our discus into or make it hit our target. Let's go. Now, if you can't do it outside, you might be able to put some of these targets inside. And you know what? It'll probably roll easier inside than it is on the grass. But have a go. So there you go. Making your own discus. How we hold it. Over the rainbow. Discus rolling. For our next session, we're going to do a lot more slinging but this time using our homemade discus. See you next time. Don't forget, if you have any great ideas that you like to share with everyone, but don't forget you will have to ask mum or dad first or whoever looks after you, you can send me some videos or some photos to my email below. Also, if you'd like to receive a certificate, you can also send me an email. All you'll need is your name, the name of the activity, if you want to, the school you're from, and what town you live in. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed our session today. This is Alvin from Little Athletics, New South Wales, hoping to see you for our next Run, Jump and Throw Yourself Into It activity session. Bye for now.